What's going on everyone? This is Harry, also known as The Brand Builder, and today's video is going to be very simple. I want to address this so-called market crash, and I want to talk about an ETF that I'm really proud of, SPHD. So this is an Invesco product, and I want to talk more about it, but let me tell you why I discuss stock investing, especially ETFs that pay monthly, uh, when I talk about side hustles on this channel. I do believe that investing is a side hustle because it's another income. It's a secondary income, or it could become a first income. Does it have the ability to replace your job? Yes, but it would take quite a bit of money for it to do that. So this is why I say it's a side hustle. For the average person, making enough money with dividends uh, in the stock market to replace your full-time job is very difficult. Um, it would take quite a bit of money it would take quite a bit of time, anywhere between 15 to 20 years, depending on your economic and or investment threshold. I like to talk about my investing experience and my confidence in investing. Take this as kind of my story, what I feel about investing and what I feel about this particular ETF, SPHD. It's a low volatility ETF. And if you look at its inception date, October 18th, 2012 and you look at the year today you know exactly what it's all about so it's price point we're dealing with something that was priced at $25.40 basically when it comes to investing in dividend stocks SPHD is probably one of the kings to me in my opinion this is awesome. a monthly payer and it's so amazing I love Invesco products some people like QQQ, which I also like QQQ, um, but the thing is SPHD is for the common person. So if you want a portfolio that deals with diversification, SPHD is a great diversifier. It deals with 51 companies on the S&P 500, and it's a great company to invest in. If you look at Yahoo Finance, which I'll provide some of the information uh, for you, if you look at Yahoo Finance, you'll see that it's trailing at a 3.78% um, dividend distribution rate. And um, if you look at the Invesco uh, website directly, it's trailing at 4.15%. Uh, the 30-day yield is 4.71%, uh, but the total 12-month yield is 4.10%. So you can use whatever factors you want i look at it as an average of like um you're looking at like maybe 14 cents per month if you're dealing with one share um if you're dealing with like 100 shares maybe 14 dollars and 80 cents something in that um ballpark but yeah so this is a company that i knew i had to get to 100 shares as soon as possible yes i only own 100 shares of this company so i'm looking at 14 dollars and some change per month, but I like this and I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna probably go for another 100 shares of this company. Uh, the reason why I only have 100 shares is because I'm more psyched about closed-end funds and real estate investment trust REITs than I am about ETFs. What I think about the crash is basically institutions dumping off a lot of stocks. You have yields, they have to pay back loans, uh, companies are doing what they can to survive. Uh, you have a lot of hedge funds, um, a lot of uh, holding companies that are basically selling off to deal with debt. It's the only option that they have at the moment. This is what they're looking at. They like to borrow money to buy tons of shares of, of stocks and they're looking for return on capital. So they're looking for ROC instead of return on investment. But for the common investor, this is the best time, the best exchange uh i think in the market if you if you ask me uh to be able to get some of these companies at lower prices because were they overpriced before maybe uh so one of the ways to assess a uh, etf is to look at its nav net asset value and determine from the net asset value whether it's worth investing in and if you can see the investment uh, being worth it because of its net asset value or because of the expense ratio. Well, this one has a very low expense ratio. 
uh, you're looking at uh, 0.30%. Um, and once again, I'm a huge fan of Invesco products. So dividend investing is something that I look at as a textbook side hustle because I just gave you an example of 100 shares. Uh, so what if we were to do 1,000 shares? That would be, what, $140 a month? So 10,000 shares, what would be that be? I'm going to be talking about side hustles, investing, stuff like that. Anything that is a secondary income. So the next video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about bottle returns. And I didn't want to do this. I actually was going to release this video and I deleted it because I started thinking to myself, I actually had consulting clients that were paying me a lot of money and here I am talking about bottle returns. But I thought about something. If if in extreme case, if I was good at what I did, I should be able to produce at least a thousand dollars worth of bottle returns, right? I'm going to make a thousand dollars in one month in bottle returns, right? At a minimum which I can do. I don't do that now because I probably got about $700 worth of orders in my trunk uh, from estate sales. So think about it like this. Investing in HP, SPHD can give you some extra income and maybe you need to find a side hustle to make it risk-free. So if you're gonna do bottle returns, you make it risk-free. So why? Because you're taking easy money using it to invest. So we'll talk more about that. Make sure you look at the information below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and one big favor, one big favor, if you made it this far, pre please, please, please hit the like button. Hit the like button, let this video go forward. If you're gonna comment below, please hit the like button as well. The like button is very important, but comment below if you have thoughts. Do not forget to comment below. Thank you so much, have a great day, enjoy your life, enjoy your hustle, Get it on the side.